containers offer the gardener great versatility and are a fantastic way to experiment with planting and design. From short-term bedding displays to permanent features of small trees and topiary, planting in pots adds another dimension to the garden, softening corners, brightening dull spots and providing instant, yet easily changeable. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you 10 best flowering plants for pots. Before that, please like and subscribe to support my channel, and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Well, here are 10 best flowering plants for pots. Number 1. Geraniums. Geraniums grow well in pots and planters with adequate drainage. Selecting the right potting soil for your geraniums while geraniums are not very particular about soil pH, selecting a neutral to slightly acidic soil will be beneficial. Also, they prefer potting soil that is moist, well-draining, and high in organic matter. Number 2. Impatiens. Impatiens are lovely container plants that can brighten up a porch or deck when placed on steps or a tabletop. Varieties with a larger spread do very well in hanging baskets that display long stems and striking flowers. Impatiens need part shade and damp soil to thrive, so potted impatiens should be placed in an area with filtered light. Number 3. Dahlia. Dahlias grow well in pots, though you need to be very careful not to let them repeatedly dry out. They also will need to be regularly fertilized during the growing season, and many will need to be staked so they don't fall over. It's also a good idea to put the taller varieties in heavy pots, so a stiff wind doesn't blow them over. Number 4. Snapdragon. If you want to grow the snapdragon in containers, the first thing that you need to do is fill peat pots with a soilless medium. You need to fill this up the night before you plan on planting the snapdragon in the pots. More importantly, after adding the medium to the soil, you should allow it to drain at least a few times. Number 5. African Daisy. African Daisy flowers look particularly striking in pots with low-lying petunias, especially if varieties have contrasting colors. African Daisies are usually grown as annuals in USD8 zones below 9, so don't need to be overwintered. However, in some warmer climates with mild winters, they can be overwintered indoors. Number 6. Verbena. Verbena in pots benefit from more frequent feeding. Feed verbena in containers or hanging baskets once every two weeks while the plant is blooming. Use a fertilizer or any mix intended to promote flowering. Number 7. Petunia. Petunia plants are not very particular regarding the pots they call home. As long as the pot has a drainage hole and enough space for the roots to spread, the plant will thrive. Generally, try to plant no more than 3 petunias in a 12-inch pot. Number 8. Canna Lily. Potting a canna lily is best done in a large container, 
as the plant needs room for the root system to develop. The larger the pot, the more bulbs you can plant, resulting in more blooms from the canna growing in pots. Number 9. Begonia. Begonias prefer growing in light, rich soil with a good concentration of humus, similar to the makeup of potting soil. So it's no surprise the plants tend to thrive in containers. Begonias planted in a pot should be spaced 5 inch apart and with the tubers buried hollow side up. Number 10. Million Bells. Calabricoa, also known as Million Bells, is one of the most popular plants for growing outdoors in containers. The plant comes in a rainbow of colors, in solids and two-tones, stripes, patterns, and stunning double blooms. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to support my channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates. And see you in the next videos.